Hi there. If you're an electronics hobbyist like myself, you've probably got a meter similar to this. And one of the functions you'll use it frequently for is for measuring DC voltages. There's one question I suppose. How do you know that the meter is accurate? Well, there is a cheap way of finding out. And I'm going to show you how you do that. If you're interested, keep on watching. So as I said, the digital multimeter or digital voltmeter, depending on your preferences, is a great device for measuring voltages. And if we take this lithium ion cell here, we can very quickly see, if I can get the probes on the uh, terminals, uh, we've got a voltage of 4.120 volts. Um, now how do we know that that 4.120 volts is actually accurate or not? What we need is a reference. And what I have here, I can just move things out a little bit. Let's zoom in. We have a board here which has got a device on it. It's an analog device. It's AD584. And it's a circular package here in the middle. It's actually uh, on quite sort of tall pins. And um, this device has the ability to uh, create a very stable and accurate voltage. Now this is quite a small board so what I'll do is I'll just zoom out again a little bit and I've actually printed out a photograph that I took earlier of the board and what we've got here is on the bottom of the board we've got some jumpers and you can set the voltage that you want to test the digital voltmeter to by setting the set and jumpers here and the settings go from two and a half, five, seven and a half and ten volts. On the left hand side of the board we've got the input which is VIN plus and ground through a decoupling capacitor, a, a diode, an LED to indicate that the device is on and then there are the terminals to actually put the digital voltmeter on to test the output and this is supported again by a capacitor. So just going back to um, the board itself, what we can do is we can simply connect this up to a voltage source. Now it's a little bit of an odd uh, ball in the sense that this chip requests 15 volts DC. So I've set my uh, small bench power supply here, the Rui Deng, up to provide uh, 15 volts and half an amp, so I'm just going to switch that on. You can see, oh sorry, I will uh, zoom in again, that um, this LED comes on and off. It goes off slowly because of that capacitor. And what we can do then is we can test the digital voltmeter. So you can hopefully see all those digits there. And Let's set it on two and a half volts to start off with. So just moving the jumper across. And then putting the two probes on the outlet. And we're seeing 2.501 or 502 volts um, from a 2.5 reference source. Now let's look very quickly at the specs for this sort of um, device. And we see at two and a half volts, we have plus or minus 7.5 millivolts. So um, I'm, I'm actually using this device here, it's the AD584J. They come in different types of specifications. The J is the, uh, I guess, the cheapest device, which is not surprising, seeing as this board is off eBay. You can get voltage sources, they've probably been binned. So you can get actually better accuracy, this particular one here, um, the K version has plus minus three and a half volt, uh, millivolts, sorry. Uh, and I think there are other devices uh, in this series which are even more accurate than this. But uh, you can quite clearly see that uh, two and a half there, uh, my meter was measuring 2.502, so that's well within the specification. Let's just move this up for shits and giggles, up to five volts.
5.007, so that's 7 millivolts, that's actually quite close to the spec, but still within. Let's move this up to the 7.5 volt. Seven point five zero. Now I can't see the third significant figure there, which is uh, interesting. But I guess once you get up to seven point five volts, yeah, maybe uh, ten millivolts, uh, we, we we can uh, live without. It's going to be the same, of course, on ten volts. We'll only be able to see two significant figures there after the decimal point. And yeah, just flicked over once then, yes. So maybe um, it's just slightly high, this meter, possibly. Um, this device is uh, temperature sensitive, but it is rated to 25 degrees centigrade, and it's about 28 in the garage today. So yeah, it's probably a little bit warm. Uh, and so that temperature coefficient it might be just lifting things up a tad. I do have another meter, so this meter is actually a, a Bryman meter and it, well, it's it's not top of the range, but it's a, a reasonable brand. Not a fluke, of course. Um, but I do have a cheaper one here, which I use for some projects, um, particularly when I want to just do a, a clamp meter test. But this also does DC voltage, although rather annoyingly, every time you switch it on, it assumes you're going to be using AC and so you have to actually select DC every time. So let's just leave that on 10 volts and see what this meter says. Oh well, can't argue with that really. Again it's just flicking between the 0 and the 1. Let me just do one check at 2.5. The lower end of the scale so we can see all those significant figures hopefully. Am I getting this the right way around? Again, I'm okay. I can with this meter. I can only see two figures at two point. Uh, why is this not getting a good connection? There we go, two point five zero. So yeah, both those meters test out um, very well. Now, this device. Let me just switch that up. This device is available on eBay. Um, all locations that I sort of looked at is less than five dollars US so yeah it's just a really quick and dirty way of checking your uh, digital voltmeter hmm what do you think anyway thoughts down below give me a like or a thumbs down if you need to and subscribe hit the bell icon do all that sort of good stuff see you now Ta -ra.